Hey guys, it's me again, Chris, and today we're gonna do a tank maintenance video. I've been so busy that I haven't had a chance to really clean up my tank. In all honesty, I think it's been at least a year since I last changed the water of the tank and did a major cleanup. So that's what we're gonna do today. And first, let me show you the top filter. It's like it's technically a sump on the top of the aquarium. I also have a sump at the bottom of the tank which I'll show you later. But for now, let me show you the K1 media. It looks disgusting, I know. Um, there's detritus and water stains all over. I used to have another turtle here, the Chinese tribe turtle, for about nine or 10 inches long. And when he was here, he kept this dock really clean. Now that he's gone, uh, I gave him to my boss. He didn't die, okay? The Malaysian box turtle is doing a really poor job in keeping it clean. So I'm gonna have to remove that cage for now since I, I placed the cage there for the Chinese striped turtle and he's no longer in this tank. Here's a sump that I was talking about earlier. It has tons of filter media there, so I'm thinking if I should put some of it on the top sump or just leave them there. The idea is I want the water to be a bit restrained on the top sump so that I could get rid of the water stains that you can see here. I'll show you that later, but for now, let me just remove the cage and clean the dock. I'll put the whole cleaning process in a time lapse right now just so you don't get bored. I didn't really apply anything there except for the actual aquarium water and a little elbow grease. At this point, you can see that the water looks disgusting. It's really murky. It's because I rinsed the filter media with the aquarium water. This will ensure that I clean the detritus and fecal matter or, or whatever debris that you have uh, on the media safely for the fish. Again, I can't stress this enough, only use aquarium water to clean whatever is inside your tank. Now that I'm done cleaning the media from the top sump and the bottom sump, I'll start draining the water and change about 75% of the aquarium water. Just an FYI, this is something that I wouldn't really recommend or do myself unless I have really good filtration, which in this case I do. So 75% will be safe, but normally what I would recommend is 25 to 50. I mentioned earlier that I wanted to somehow restrict the water flow at the top sump. So what I'm doing right now while the water is draining is I'm moving some of the filter media at the bottom sump to the top sump. I want to arrange them in a way that it restricts the water flow from the top but not too much to, to block it and cause the sump to overflow. So I did all that for a good 30 or 45 minutes. Now let me show you the type of bio balls I have in the top sump or overhead sump. I use three different types of bio balls per chamber. So in the first chamber, of course you saw the K1 media. Second one goes this an inch to an inch and a half uh, diameter bio balls. And the second chamber goes this smaller type. I don't really know what it's called, I'm sorry. And on, on the fourth chamber is the floating type. Now it's time to put water back into the tank. 
So if you may have noticed, the hose is no longer in the tank. And the reason behind that is because I placed it on the bottom sump because I want the new water to go through all the filtration and the older water as well. So it gets the good bacteria from, from the media and from the water before it goes into the tank. I don't put anything else on my water, no solutions, no nothing. So I just rely solely on my filter media. So about 25 or 50% of the water coming in should go through the bottom sump and then I'll put the hose back into the tank. It was at this point that I noticed that the backer rolls were doing too good of a job in restricting water flow and the K1 media was about to overflow from the baffle between the first and second chamber. So what I opted to do here was remove the backy rolls from the second, third and fourth chambers and just put in ceramic rings in the fifth chamber. This actually gave me the water restriction level that I was aiming for. It was the best solution that I could come up with at that point in time and up until now it's working well. This method enabled me to keep the water level at a good height without running the risk of overflowing the overhead sump. You'll see it all in action later in the video. This is the part that I was talking about, about the K1 media almost overflowing from the first chamber to the second chamber. So I had to make adjustments and unfortunately my camera stopped recording during the time that I was moving all the back ear rolls out of the second to fourth chambers and me experimenting with the ceramic rolls on the fifth chamber. This is the shot of the aquarium after an hour. This is when everything settled, but you could still see some of the dirt or, or the tritus at the bottom of the tank. It's st sitting there, but the wave maker should help clear that out in no time. As you can see, there's no more backy rolls on the top sump or the overhead sump. The only thing there now is the K1 media, the bio balls, and ceramic rings on the fifth chamber. If you look closely, you're gonna see that the water level is higher and you could use the water stains on the glass as reference to make a comparison to how high it was before and after the tank cleanup. If you're new to the channel, let me show you the tank. This is a 75 gallon tank you could buy in local pet stores here in the Philippines. I just painted it black 
on the sides at the back as well as the overhead sump. I did the same thing on the sides and at the back. I also painted the plumbing inside the tank black so it's barely visible if you look at it from the front. I want it to look nice and the blue pipes are really a big turn off for me so if, if you want to try it you know feel free to replicate what I did here. It looks a lot better and you can even try out any color that you want. For as long as you use regular acrylic paint you should be good. I have a friend who helped me make the turtle dock and he's selling aquariums now and he's painting them white and it looks really nice so feel free to try it out you can do it yourself or if you're in the philippines just send me a dm and i'll give you his details and you can also comment down below so i can give you the information so the only thing that i really need right now is to get a razor blade because i really need to get rid of those stains they look ugly and that's it for the video i hope you like it, share it, subscribe to my channel. Kung pinoy ka, mag-subscribe ka. Please help me out, okay? Uh, stay safe, everyone. See you in the next video. Peace.